Hello, it's Mark Matosh, Chief from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be continue on creating this bullet effect through a wall. From here, I'm just going to make some debris. So let's go Shift A, add in a mesh and a cube, and let's just I'm just going to kind of rescale this so that I've got something that's not very uniform, but it looks like it could be a chunk of concrete. And so I'm just going to move these around a little bit. So this is one piece. Let's go Shift D to duplicate that to the other side. And let's go GG to move along the normals. All right, let's go this way, this way. Beautiful. And then I'm going to add in a icosphere. And we'll give this some love as well. Scale that down a little bit. And I'm going to press O to do proportional editing. And it's going to be kind of like little pieces. There we go, Shift D, X. All right. Let me just make that like so. So now we've got our four pieces. I'm going to assign a black concrete black concrete, this one's going to be the white concrete and the white concrete. So we've got these four to match the exterior, to match the interior. I'm going to select everything, control G to create a collection and we'll name this rocks. From here, I'm actually really disappointed that I'm not able to get dynamic painting working with a particle system. So we actually have to do this manually. Uh, what I wanted to happen is wherever it painted, it would emit these objects, but I don't know if that's a bug, but we'll go from there. So shift A, let's add in a plane. And what I'm gonna do is put it in the position of one of the holes, like so. And I'm just gonna kind of line it up. Where are we? Line it up about there. Turn that around. I'm going to do an edge loop with Control R. Put in two of them. Put in two edge loops. And then let's grab this central one. And I'm just going to extrude. Let's kind of grab these exterior ones. W, smooth vertices, smooth vertices just the kind of round. Nope, didn't really work. I just want to make this a bit more of a circle, which probably would have been easy just to put a circle. But now we've got this, let's go GY. I'm going to plot that in there. So this is going to be our first hit. So let's have a look. What frame does this get shot at? Frame 19. So at frame 19, we want a particle system to take place. So let's come back into the particle systems. Let's press plus. Um, I'm probably going to want to go about maybe 16 pieces, frame 19 start, end, frame 19, lifetime. I'm going to bump this up to about 250 and we'll see if we can come back and have some fun with that. Uh, the normals, let's go maybe three so it actually explodes out a little bit. We'll bump up randomization to about five. And if we kind of just press play, let's have a look. We see that it went backwards, I think, not forwards. So our normals are facing the wrong way. So let's go select this. Let's just get rid of shading for now. Come up into the displays, turn the normals on. We can see they're facing the wrong way. So let's go shift N, still facing the wrong way. Let's do inside and now let's flip the normals. So now if we press play, we can see that they've popped that way, which is fine. I'm not too concerned that they've gone backwards but it's dispersed nicely. Let's go maybe only one velocity. And that seems like we're cool. Let's go 32. Let's come down into render, change halo to, uh, sorry, to collection. Change, uh, select the collection will be our rocks. And then if we press play, we can see we've got rocks flying everywhere as that hits. Now the next thing is, is I don't want this emitter rendered. So let's go up into viewport display and turn off emitter. And so it's going to be kind of just sitting there and then it'll spawn and then fly off. So while we're here, let's just change the scale randomness 
So we've got bigger objects and smaller objects, and I'm just going to scale that up just a smidgen. So we've got small pieces and the larger pieces. And there we go. So what I'm going to do now is come back in and we'll show our emitter. And then let's now slowly move it around. Shift D and we'll move that up like this. Number 23, frame 23. So let's change this to 20. Oops. Change this to 23, 23. And when's the next one hit? There we go. Shift D, 26. And now I'm just gonna do this for all of them. And so now if we come back in and we play through it, I've done that completely wrong. What I needed to do was copy the particle system and then update this. So let's go work backwards. So we've got this one here is on 34, which is correct. Let's come back to when the next one should be on, which is here, which was 32. What I'm gonna do is make a copy of this and change this to 32, 32. And we'll make our way back down and fix this problem. And now that we've fixed that up, if we have a look and we press play, we should see kind of it goes up. However, the explosions are exactly the same. So let's come back in here and just change the seed number to alternate numbers to something else. And then what this will do is animate each box differently. And now we should have kind of like, there we go. It looks all a bit different. Please make sure you like and subscribe to keep up to date with the next lot of videos that are coming out.